Hello crafty friends, it's Call Me Crafty Al here on the Scrapping for Less YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be creating a card using the not yet released Flavor of the Month card kit from Scrapping for Less. I hope you're going to stick around, see some of the card kit and find out what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the Scrapping for Less YouTube channel, I hope that you'll consider clicking on that subscribe button below and ringing that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. It is almost the time of the month when Scrapping for Less releases their newest Flavor of the Month card kit. I am here today to share a little look at one of the collections and make a card using it. Next Friday night, the entire design team will be celebrating the newest kit with a hop. So again, make sure that you get subscribed so you know when that goes live. Not only will you get to see everything that's in the kit, but there's a chance to enter a giveaway on the Scrapping for Less blog. And don't forget to keep stopping back by over the next week here on the Scrapping for Less YouTube channel and on their blog so you can get more sneak peeks at the newest kit. For my card today, I'm going to be using some papers and the stamp set from collection number three and I'm using the die from the banana split. Once I start the process, I will go to a voiceover. If I leave you with any questions, make sure to leave those in the comment section below and I'll come back and get those answered for you. Let's get crafty! For today's layout, I will be using the March 2020 sheet load of cards and instead of making the nine that the sheet load calls for, I will just be making a single card. I chose three of the pattern papers from the collection and I cut those down to the sizes that were given on the sheet load of cards printable. If you do want to download that printable for free, I will link my video in the description box below and you can go check that out. Once I had those pattern papers cut, I brought in a piece of black cardstock from the kit and I cut it down so it would be the mat for the black and white pattern paper piece. Once I had those pattern papers cut, I got out the tag dies from the banana split and I cut the largest one out of a scrap of white cardstock. Once that was die cut, it was time to stamp my image onto it. I will be using VersaFine Onyx Black for this, and since the magnet might interfere with the stamp, I did go ahead and just place the tag in the lower right hand corner of the Misty. I spent a little bit of time getting my stamp set up. I did put it toward the top center because originally I was gonna hide that bottom behind the slanted strip, just like on the card sketch. But I do end up changing that a little bit later and you'll see how I fixed having that excess white at the bottom. Once my stamp was in place, I inked that up and stamped it. And this first time I did press pretty lightly, so I did have to go ahead and ink that up again and give it a second try. But after that second try, it was beautiful and ready to be put on my card. To add a bit more texture and interest to the card, I did go ahead and decide to pull out the twine which also came in the banana split kit and add some of it to the top of my little reindeer tag. I just cut a small section of the twine, folded it in half, and then thread it through that hole on the top. And now that all of my pieces were ready, I started putting the card together. The first thing I did was map that skinny strip with the black cardstock, and then I placed the other two pattern papers onto the card front. Now you'll notice once I have those on the card, there is a small gap where those do not meet up, but that's not a problem because this skinny strip will end up covering that. I added adhesive to the back of that, 
slanted it so it went completely across the card and then cut off the excess that was hanging off the edges. Since the card was relatively flat at this point, I did decide to go ahead and pull in some foam tape to adhere my tag to the card front. Once I had the release paper pulled on that, I placed it to the right side of the card, kind of centered from top to bottom. Once that was in place, I brought in the red enamel dots from the kit and I added some to the tag. I decided to put that largest one so it looked like it was the nose of the reindeer antlers and then I placed three of the very small ones at the bottom of the tag just to kind of take away from the fact that there was more white space down there. This was about the time I realized that I had forgotten a step that I wanted to do. And I probably should have done it before the tag was on the card, but I went ahead and got out a red marker and I wrote the word U in cursive on the tag so it looks like it says special delivery for you. And here's a close up look at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made today's card and getting a little peek at the upcoming card kit. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.